hello guys welcome back to this channel hope everyone is fine on that note let's start this video so this is week 9 assignment of the course blockchain and its applications so for the past five years we have been giving solutions for various, for various NPTEL courses guys so i hope almost all of the solutions are correct if there is any changes if you if it comes to your notice you can please give your opinion in the comment section guys we will try to discuss and sort it out and give the final solution in the comment section as an update so please watch the video till the end guys because if I change any solution in between you can be able to note that. So do watch full video and please subscribe our channel like this video and please share that with your friends and classmates. Now let's see the first question guys. Which of the following is true about single sign on. So guys these are completely my probable solutions. I tried my best to give you the most accurate solutions. So if you differ with my solution you can please give your alternate opinion in the comment section positive. So for first question, I think the answer is option A guys. The same identity can be used to access multiple services. So mark option A guys. Next, second one. Second question. Which of the following sequence of steps is valid? for algorand valid for algorand so for second question the answer is so this will be the first step will be the first step itself guys and second one will be fourth option and the second statement will be the third step and the remaining is fourth one guys so the answer is one four two three so mark options yes correct answer for second question guys next third one third question third one which of the following statements regarding solidity is true So for third question, the answer that I have got is option A guys. Solidity is compiled to bytecode by which is executed by Ethereum virtual machine. So mark option A as probable solution for third question. Next, fourth one. So before getting into this fourth question, I want to make a small announcement guys. So that is regarding exam preparation MCQs. So guys, uh, for the course blockchain and its applications, we have prepared the exam preparation MCQs guys. These are the combination of previous years questions as well as our own handmade questions. So with 5 years of NPT and experience, we have prepared these guys. Here you will get a huge number of 300 MCQs guys. 300 MCQs in a Google Drive PDF link. So you'll get 300 MCQs guys, no other, is, no other channel is providing MCQs except our channel, that to 300 MCQs which is almost equal to 3 years of NPTEL questions, 3 seasons of questions, right? So only our channel is doing that guys, so for one person it is just 300 rupees only guys, last time we have given for 500 for one person, this time now we, we have reduced the price in order to reduce the burden on students. So for one person it is just now 300 rupees only guys and for two to five person it is even less price two to five persons combinedly it is 500 rupees guys so if your friends or classmates are doing the same course along with you then you can team up with them in two to five persons group as a group and you can purchase combinedly for 500 so individually even more the price is reduced so this is the mail id if you want to mail me guys bk179417 at redgmail.com so this is the mail id you have to mail me please mail me only if you want to purchase guys so 300 mcqs pdf for one person 300 for two to five persons if you take it combined it will be combined 500 rupees and this is the mail id you have to mail me guys i'll give the same email id in the description box as well as in the comment section and there is another sample package that is YouTube membership video. You, here you will get only 100 plus MCQs, but the price is very less, 89 rupees only. And it is also available in only in video format, guys. For one, it is only for one person and for one month. So if you want to get this, directly go to our channel page. So Eskumar Edu channel page. 
beside this subscribe button there is join button so click on this join button and a window will be opened like this select the second option 89 per month pack and click on join and make payment directly to youtube guys so that's it you'll become member of our channel and you can get access to all of our videos here blockchain part 2 is prepared see and also part 1 but my suggestion is it's better to take this 300 mc CQs package because it, it covers almost every corner of every week syllabus so here you'll get 300 mcqs which will make you exam preparation but this is just a sample pack just to get some basic knowledge that's it guys so my suggestion is it's better to take this 300 mcqs pack for one person it is 300 rupees and for two to five persons it is combined 500 rupees guys so this is the mail id if you want to purchase any of the pdf packs for youtube pack no need to message me you can directly go to our channel page and you can directly pay to youtube only if you want this 300 mcqs pack then only mail and pay to me after i give the payment procedure so that's it guys now let's get back to the solutions and don't forget to take this pack discuss this with your friends so you're getting for less money only next fourth question which of the following can be used for setting up verifiable credentials so for fourth question the answer is option a guys hyperledger arrays hyperledger arrays so mark option a now fifth one fifth question which of the following is true about the selection of the random committee in the algorand network so for fifth question the answer is option d guys the nodes elect themselves as a committee member by winning a local competitions a local competition so mark option d guys next sixth one sixth one which of the following is not not a valid distinct component in distributed identifiers architecture so for sixth question the answer is option d guys did randomizer so it is not a not a component at all so option d is the correct answer next seventh one seventh question consider the following statement say ls has generated two distributed identifiers did1 and did2 for her pairwise relationships maintained in hyperledger ind which part of the above statement is false with respect to the concepts of hyperledger ind so for seventh question the probable answer is option b assignment of c to steward so i'm going with option b here guys next eighth one eighth question in verifiable credential we see a claim is a statement about a non-participant so is that true or false so it is absolutely false it is about an object right it is about an object but not a non-participant so it is wrong statement so option b false is the correct answer for eighth question next ninth one is ninth one which of the following statement is or are true so first one in hyperledger indi any authorized party can read the ledger and second one in hyperledger indi only registered parties can write to the ledger so for sec ninth question the answer is option b both one and two are true guys so mark option b and moving on to the final question of the assignment that is 10th one so before getting into this 10th question i want to once again make you remember guys so we get huge number of 300 mcqs for the blockchain and its applications course in a google drive pdf link so 300 mcqs for one person it is 300 rupees and for two to five persons it is combinedly 500 rupees so this is the mail id guys if you want to purchase any of these two for one person pack or two to five persons pack the same pack so this is the mail id guys bk179417 at the gmail.com already many students have taken our pack guys and got benefited so this time also many people started taking our pack guys 
so take it now itself so that you can prepare as early as possible and you can prepare other subjects or you can revise the same subject at the end so you will get more time to prepare for any subject at the end guys so take it now itself and prepare now itself so if you want to purchase mail me to this email id guys telling us the subject and um, uh, the how many access you persons access you want so that we can tell you the pro payment procedure guys so i'll give the same email id in the description box and also in the comment section guys now let's get back to the final solution of this assignment that is 10th question so 10th question data transfer is an important aspect of interoperability in which of the following blockchains so for 10th and final question i think the probable answer is option a guys actually the interoperability is required for all these three but as per the mentioned syllabus going with the syllabus this is mentioned right so i'm going with option a guys if you know the exact one you can please give your opinion in the comment section so i'm going with option a here guys so mark option a as probable solution for 10th question so friends these are the solutions for week 9 assignment of the course blockchain and its applications so hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and definitely share that with your friends and classmates guys and don't forget to take this 300 mcqs blockchain pack guys so for one person it is 300 rupees if you take it as combinedly uh, in the form of two to five persons it is just 500 rupees guys combinedly this is the mail id mail me to this email id if you want if you want only sample pack of 100 plus mcqs in a video format you can pay for 89 rupees directly to youtube not me guys so that's it guys so keep supporting us like this so until the next video goodbye thank you